Hi, I'm Christy Simpson, and welcome to Ask Christy. I have two questions this week that I want to combine together. The first one is, how do you involve a wide range of ages in your children's choir program? Leadership, youth through seniors, and how do you keep your older kids engaged when they need to be grouped with the younger ones? Now, I've said this before, um, probably on an Ask Christy and in some of my conferences, but I think the key to engaging older children is to make sure that you gear your program towards them. Um, understanding that the young ones are there too, but raising the expectation for young ones, which they can do great things, especially if they are expected to act older, because the young kids want to be like the older kids. So if I have second graders through fourth graders sitting in a room, um, I won't be talking to the second graders, I'll be talking to the fourth graders and say, fourth graders, I know you can do this. Second graders, you're going to have to try really hard. We'll see if one or two of you can do it. We'll see. And the second graders want to be like the cool fourth graders, so they will rise to the occasion. If you do it the opposite way and you start talking to the second graders and say, don't worry guys, this is really easy, everyone can do it, the fourth graders are going to get bored and they're going to start acting out. So the first key is teaching to the top of the class, making sure that your program is interesting enough and fast paced enough that everybody wants to pay attention and that you don't dumb it down and make it really, really super simple because people get bored when things are simple and they get excited about things that are hard. And while there are some age things where preschoolers can't necessarily stand up and be still for 20 minutes, um, a first grader can and often a kindergartner can if you um, really motivate them and you understand their limitations they can act older as well so raise the expectations and you will keep older kids in your choir if you are um, gearing things towards them um, so also as they get older I like to use older people like ninth I keep my kids choir up to eighth grade just because the seventh and eighth graders want to be there but in 8th, ninth, and 10th grade, they start doing choreography for me. And then they are leading in front of the kids. Then the kids want to be like them. So the, the kindergartners want to be like the 4th graders. The 4th graders want to be like the 8th graders. And the 8th graders want to be leading like the high school students. So it's kind of this thing where everybody keeps wanting to do better and better and better rather than the cool kids being the ones that aren't in choir anymore. Like, if oh, if I'm not in choir, then I'm going to be outside goofing off. No. If you've got leadership in the front that's doing cool choreography your kids will want to be part of that and then you'll have this whole thing going where they keep rising up in your program and you can mentor your youth and then hopefully funnel them right into your adult choir ministry which is super exciting because I know you all want to keep your kids choir kids all the way through you want to utilize your youth um, use them all use them all in the same program uh, so that's the tip for this week and we'll see you next week